Alright, welcome to part 2 in this Xcode tutorial series. Um, today we're going to talk about variables and we're going to create a stopwatch using variables, of course. Okay, create a new Cocoa application. Choose, I'm going to call it, already created a stopwatch, of course. But uh, yeah, like this. Okay, here I've got my stopwatch. First, we're going to create our uh, interface. It's not the beautiful interface, but xib opens interface builder and here we've got our window let's just make it a little bit smaller it's not a very big stuff watch go to the library and search for button I'm gonna have two buttons like yeah I know gradient buttons this one's gonna be the start stop button start a little bit smaller again I guess copy it, alt drag if you're on a Mac. I don't know if that works on Windows, but uh, wait, you don't have Xcode for Windows. Okay, never mind. Alt drag, um, <laughs> reset, reset button here. Then search for labels. Well, only label, of course. Label here. This one's just gonna be time, it's not gonna do anything. Just saying, hey, there's time underneath me. So, alt drag to copy it. And this one's actually going to be our time. So we set it to 0, 0, 0, 0 minutes and seconds. Um, you might want to customize it a little, like uh, creating this type. So this way, dragging it. Uh, yeah, okay, it looks okay now. Um, come on, ask to save this. Okay, now we need to connect it to our script because we're gonna script this time a lot. Well, not that a lot, but we're gonna script this time. So search for NS object. It's blue cube in a leopard, but leopard. But um, okay, go to uh, its uh, views or go to tools identity inspector. Okay, make the class to watch or something. Okay, then create two actions. And push reset and push start of course then the outlets we're gonna refer to the actual um, thing that displays our time is the time text and we're gonna let's say well, oh yeah do our start button we're gonna call it reset if that's the case okay okay um, then link everything so drag from start to the stopwatch, push start, reset, this one push reset. Then this one, no wait, stopwatch to this one for time text, stopwatch to the start button for reset. Command S to save it. And then we're gonna write the class files. Class files. Write class files. Stopwatch is okay with me. Yeah, we want in the application. And we wrote our class files. Stopwatch.h, stopwatch.m. Okay, we need to set an NS object here. Because that's what it's referring to. Okay, we've got our outlets, we've got our actions. So uh, save it, go to stopwatch.m. Okay, um, first we need to create the variables. We're going to use three variables. First two are going to be seconds and minutes. Seconds equals zero. It's an integer, which means there are no uh, numbers after the decimal sign. And minutes equals zero. Then we're going to create a boolean. Booleans can either be true or false, nothing else. So we're going to start with false because the top stopwatch isn't started when we first open the application. Then we go to push reset. When we push the reset button, we want everything to reset, of course. So seconds equals zero. Minutes equals zero. Then we're gonna reset uh, the, the title of our start button. So it was th this was the outlet for the start button. Set title. Add start. So it's start again. If the stopwatch was started and we want to reset it, we need to set it to false. Okay. And then we need to reset our time text. Set string value. We need to set the value of the time text. 
it's gonna be reset it so this is the value okay this is our push reset action then we need to get to the start action when do we need to start it when do we need to stop it okay so if it's not started yet then we need to start it so reset that's our start button set title because we've just started it it needs to say stop so we know the next time we click the button it will stop the stopwatch so set started to true because started and then this line is for calling a function that actually controls um, the stopwatch but we're gonna create a function later so don't worry about it now and then else if it's not if it actually is started this means it's not started then now if it is started we need to stop it Start equals false. I reset our start button again. Set title. Add start. So now, next time we click the button, it will start the stopwatch. Okay, I've called a function here. Called on myself. So in this script, so we're gonna create a function underneath this function, and it's called tick. So we're gonna create a function. It's a normal function. It's not related to any button or something. So it's just the void and tick, and the ID sender is uh, if you need that for the function, but here it's set to nil. Nil is just nil zero. It's nothing. Okay, so yeah, but we need to do that. I don't know why. Okay, so void tick. If it is started, so this one will be activated when you click the start button. For the okay, first we're gonna create a few strings. Call it a sec equals and a string string with format at percent percent y i that's for uh, integer because seconds will be declared here after the comma seconds is an integer so this string actually is the seconds okay and then if seconds was less than 10 we need to put a zero before the string otherwise it, it doesn't look good because then yeah it just doesn't look <laughs> okay so sec equals and a string string yeah let's just copy this one come on c come on v zero percent e you get what i mean otherwise it will be just five not zero five it looks better and then we need to do the exact, exactly same thing for the minutes so just copy paste it and call it min min and then with these two minutes and minutes okay save it otherwise you'll lose everything if you do something stupid okay then we'll set it actually a string for our time so, and a string again time it's quite a normal title I think and a oh, and a string String with with format, yes. Add person at person those two person at. Okay, then we'll call our minus minutes and our second string we just created. Then we still need to set our time text outlet, which controls the actual time displayed by by stopwatch. We do set string value equals time that string okay and then of course when we've once clicked uh, the start button we want the stopwatch to go on counting without us clicking the start button again and again so we need to call tick from within tick okay so self perform selector because tick is a selector say as selector tick then we go with object nil again zero nothing. Then after delay of one dot zero, so one second. After one second, it it, uh, it calls the tick uh, selector again. Okay, so and then of course the most important thing, seconds plus 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 is plus is equals one. It's uh, Adds one to seconds. Then, if 
or seconds or is more than 95 it equals 60 set seconds to zero and add one to the minutes because that's one minute later minutes later okay so I'm just goes through this and uh, um, checks if it has to add a zero then it creates the time string it sets the text to time and after one second it calls this thing again and each time it calls after one second so you can just say plus equals one okay and then we count the minutes okay this one should work so build and go wait a few seconds hmm Hmm. Let's check. Okay, this hasn't happened to me before. Oh wait, I think what? <laughs> That's stupid me. Take ID send sender. I think I have to declare it here. No, it still keeps saying we have an error. Oh, I did that one wrong. One error left. Yes, you got, might put it want to put it this way. Oh, I forgot this one. Okay, so no arrows left. Good. <laughs> go and go. Let's launch. Start. Okay, it counts. It keeps counting. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No need to. Ooh. <laughs> One problem here. I've set seconds here. It should be minutes. Okay, build and go again. Start. A little bit out of box this time, but <laughs> never mind. Reset. And you see, it said to start. Now it's stop. Click, stop. Okay, reset. You have your. Stopwatch here. Okay, I hope you learned a, a few things about variables and uh, please leave a comment and yeah, there's no need to subscribe really. Yeah, I don't know why. Okay, see you next time.